Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am Veos and uh, this is another Old Craft Revival. Uh, there really isn't much to say about this one, although I believe that its original name was uh, Alpha. Alpha Alpha SSRT. Now uh, SSRT of course stands for Single Stage Rocket Technology. It was a terminology coined by McDonnell Douglas before they became Boeing and before the terminology of SSTO ever came out. Old school, basically. Single stage ro rocket technology was basically an SSTO, only it got up there via rocket and then came back down. I'm sorry if I sound a little nasally. Um, I hope I'm not coming down with something. So this, I think I believe, uh, I believe I built this back in 2017 or 15. It was part of a project where I had people send me their payload craft files and I'd put it in this thing and we were building a huge community station many 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 videos ago you could probably still find it if you search inside my videos now i have done some tweaking already because the craft file looked something more like this when i had gotten it let's change that actually let's try to i want to see if i can't make the part count go down a little bit it's actually very basic got a large fuel tank back here one piece and then four other fuel tanks on the sides at an angle with wings for stability now the wings are pointed inward slightly so there is a little bit of a, a dragging force there, but it's it's a small price to pay for aesthetics. There we go. I think I'll line these up so the color is right. Oh wait, I can actually streamline this even more by putting um, caps on this. Ooh, but those are definitely going to be in the way. Um. Eh, 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 okay. Well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, that's two separate. Hold on, what? Let's clean this up a little bit. Okay, lights, huh? I don't think those work anymore. Got the engines, that's fine. Woof. <laughs> no, that looks like the longest one we can get. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can increase the payload size. We'll start off with a nose cone, actually. Have the root part as a nose cone. Because if I remember correctly, there's a bug in KSP that if your nose cone or if your part doesn't if your aerodynamic craft doesn't start off with the nose cone if you ever reload it back into space or whatever the case may be it suddenly like for instance if i started off with the cargo bay as the root part suddenly if i was to reload back into the game the physics of ksp would automatically ignore everything that's in front of the root part and then calculate the root part as if it was by itself in the atmosphere so all that drag and everything would be added as if there was no nose cone. It's pretty dumb. I don't think they'll ever fix it, but that's KSP. <clears throat> However, if you start your aerodynamic craft with the nose cone first, then that glitch is uh, it's not gonna hurt you. Okay, looks like I can squeeze in a full-size Rocco Max Jumbo, even uh, have something attached to it, which is kind of nice. It's plenty of room. I added a cockpit, large battery, remote control guidance, docking port, and even another docking port facing outwards so it can dock with the station if it has to. <clears throat> oh yeah, we have different variations now thanks to restock. Huh, okay, let me see here. I think that one looks pretty good. What happens if I do this though? Hold on. Mm, no, it's not gonna work. I know it's not gonna do a whole lot for aerodynamics, but it might help a little bit. Just to cap those off. You know how old this is? I think this was before automatic strutting and everything because I, I checked every single part before I started swapping out stuff. None of them were auto strutted. Huh, now that's interesting. Go ahead, put some lights on the subject. To finish it off, some RCS. All right, RCS is in place. We got reverse, up and down, left and right, forward, all centered around the center of mass. Okay, I've put lights everywhere, well, as best I can. This thing has 4,000 delta V, which is more than enough to get into orbit via rocket. I really have no clue on how it's gonna actually fare on its maiden flight. And here we go. A little bouncy, but okay. Looks kinda nice, I like it. Looks like KSP phys physics are in the works again. Hold on, let me. Let me go back and fix this. Put some traction on these wheels. Jamie, minute Christmas. Now it's doing jumping jacks? I tell you, those landing gear, the wheels in general, oh, so screwed up. Ha, there we go. 
So I ended up putting the dampening strength to like 100 and the spring strength to zero. It's sad. It's kind of, you know, all squished in now, but I'm telling you, it's not moving. And that's what I'm trying to get to happen. And it... <sighs> anyway, let's move on, shall we? Let's see us on in three, two, one, ignition. Gears up. And about 90 meters per second will start tilting over. Alright, that's good. Easy now, easy now. There you go. How's drag looking? <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Look at that drag, huh? I'm sure that's killing our Delta V. But this was more of a uh, looks thing than anything else. That drag is obviously coming from these wings right here. If I was to take those away, I have to find some way to mask th mask them later. Maybe like a grid pattern. Maybe I'll just put a bunch of wings in a grid pattern, block that up. I don't know. I do know one thing though. I think we turned a little too early. Let's go ahead and hit stability assist real quick. Get us up there first before we nose down anymore. Not quite yet. Okay, now. Oh, dragging everything's disappearing now. Alright, there we go. Burn the rest of the way into orbit. <sighs> Woo! Went a little too fast, too hard. Whoopsies. I think I'm out of gas, too. I have a pinch of fuel. <laughs> uh, which wouldn't be the case if I was to take these off and redo them, but I, I don't have time. Plus, it looked so nice. It looks so nice. Damn you, KSP. Damn you for not letting me have my wings. Well, unfortunately, KSP is very, very flawed when it comes to physics. So, if I was to put, uh, what was it, fair aerospace or whatever the hell that mod is, it would actually read it correctly, and the air would flow around this thing and pop out the other side and wouldn't even touch these. But, you know, KSP being KSP, that's not the case. The wind, the, uh, the tech, the... <laughs> the aerodynamics ignores everything in front of these wings and then slams them as if they were in the front of the nose of the craft and then of course creates the drag but that's KSP for you all right lights on oh well hmm it's these these poor little lights are so weak but eh, eh. it's okay I guess there she goes opening it up so this is uh, 36 tons and of course I don't have much fuel at all in this uh, revised prototype. I don't have much time either. Like I said, I would probably take these off back here and streamline it a little bit better so there's not so much drag. That would save us a lot of Delta V. And I don't even expect us to land properly with this thing. We're probably going to explode on impact. But it'll be a fun explosion, at least for this video. So right now I'm keeping the cargo bay and the, the air brakes open to try to create as much drag as possible. So I don't have to use too much fuel coming back down. I should have brought parachutes. Ah, another design that I forgot to... Another part of the design that I forgot to implement. That's okay. I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning today. But then again, I went to bed like at 7.30, 8 o'clock. I was so tired. Ah, oh, crap. We're landing in the nighttime too. That's nice. Alright, I think... I think that about does it for the cargo bay. We're definitely going back in. And we're landing in water. Why am I not surprised? We have 25 meters per second delta V. <laughs> oh, we're so screwed. Yeah, this isn't going to end well. Oh. I didn't even have a chance to start the engines. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, well. Well. Uh, that's it for this this uh, particular um, revitalization of an old craft file. Uh, I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back and I'll and I'll make it proper. Yes, I'll take away the drag and you know add parachutes and all that wonderful stuff. But anyway, I don't have any more time for today. Thank you all for coming and watching. And if you liked this, please consider subscribing and clicking on that bell notification. I do download every day unless something happens that's very important and whatnot. And, blah, 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 blah. and I do other games too when I can, but mostly KSP every morning. So love you all, take care, and I'll see you 
in the next video. Bye for now. Bye bye. It's funny how the whole entire craft got destroyed, but yet these are just fine. KSP physics for you. The land of magic and unicorns. <laughs>